thoughts of inspiration that leads you to impartation uh, that results in supernatural manifestation. Let's say that all over again. Yes. Amen. The secret of the Lord uh, deals with wisdom, knowledge of supernatural potential uh, that is hidden from the believer. Information uh, that gives you divine thoughts of inspiration uh, that leads you to impartation uh, that results in supernatural manifestation. Uh, in other words, you have the ability to conquer, to control, to manipulate, to overrule, and to sabotage uh, any demonic interference that will hinder and provoke you from getting to where it is uh, that God now is leading you. Uh, can I suggest to someone under the breath of God tonight uh, that it's time for the church uh, to understand the power of the church, uh, the authority of the church, uh, the inheritance of the church. Uh, can I suggest to you sufficient grace uh, that when a church is placed in a community, uh, in a society, uh, in an environment, uh, no matter what is taking place, uh, be it war, uh, be it gang violence, uh, be it instability and civil unrest, uh, the church is always and will be uh, a representative uh, and an agent of change. And can I suggest to you tonight uh, that change is the ability to make difference. Uh, there is good change. Uh, there is bad change. Uh, and there is God change. Uh, the church is supposed to bring about God change. Uh, his laws. Uh, his divine nature. Uh, his statue. Uh, his governmental influence. Uh, his attribute. Uh, and his identity. Uh, we are God's official agent. Uh, here in the terra firma. Uh, I came to prophesy uh, that every man, uh, that every woman of God. This is not a time to doubt. This is not a time to fear. This is not a time to believe that you are incapable. To believe that God will never deliver you. That God will never plant your feet upon a firm foundation. I came to prophesy out of the death post of God tonight. I'm shocked with God. In the very sortier of God. In the very presence of God.